I remember this is one constant dream that I had during COVID. I dreamt grains when COVID-19 started. By that time, I remember I was having uh, the last conference in Accra, Ghana. I had been invited uh, by uh, one of my covenant brothers, uh, 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 Prophet Brian Amoa Teng for IS conference in Ghana. And we had the first day of the meeting. Then now on the second day of the meeting is when they announced that suspension of public gatherings. And we flew back to Nairobi after doing one day meeting only in Ghana. So once we came back also, by then ECC was not established. By then we had Miracle Monday and we were anticipating that it's fine we will still have our miracle Monday service but they also announced that there had been a suspension of all public gathering and the month that was to follow now curfews were introduced the wearing of masks you know travels were grounded churches were closed you know people could not even gather restaurants everything came to a standstill I remember I received 15 letters that uh, uh, in Invitations that were confirmed from different parts of the world saying rescheduled, rescheduled, rescheduled because the whole world is like the whole world that come to a standstill and I asked the Lord what is next and I remember for seven days straight when I went to sleep I was seeing grains, grains, grains and I was asking the Lord what is the revelation behind this dream and as I went deeper into prayer the Lord started showing me that I was giving grains to the nations. I was giving grains uh, in uh, in Manila, Philippines. I could see it's like I had so many grains uh, and I had so many teams uh, and I was giving them in Lahore, Pakistan, in, uh, in, uh, in Manila, Philippines. I was doing it here in Kenya, in slums, in formal settlements. And the more I was giving, the more the grains were multiplying. But I was not understanding the dreams uh, because remember the whole world had come to a shock and a standstill because now COVID-19 has come. People are not even, people are working from home. Everything had become different from what we had ever known in our lives. Globally, nobody could travel. Everybody, countries were on lockdown. Everywhere there was tension. My God, meetings had been canceled. I was used to traveling and coming back to preach on Monday and flying out again. But now all the meetings had been canceled. And I'm having this constant dream. So the more I prayed. Now God started to show me nations. And I began to ask the Lord, what are you saying? And the Lord said to me, during this pandemic, I am going to make you a solution to the nations. I am going to make you a provider to the nations. I want you to start getting ready. And I asked the Lord, Lord, where will I get resources to feed nations? And the Lord said to me, now the Lord began to expound. He began, it started with dreams, dreams. Now it moved to the next dimension. The dimension now of visions. The Lord began to speak to me with clarity. He began to show me how to do it. How to do it. Where to do it. How to build the teams. How to the strategy. God began to show me how to do it. I didn't have the resources. The vision was bigger than me. I remember I called the then smaller team that I had for the Natasha Hands of Compassion and I told them God is giving me a global assignment and a national assignment to feed people in this country and also we may not have the budget for it but the Lord said to me where there is a vision there is provision where there is God's will there is God's bill and the Lord said the only thing you need to do is start moving share the vision I will bring men and women that will support the vision and I'm here to announce if I had taken that dream for granted I would have just remained home and also wondering when will COVID come to an end but I believed in that dream I took a step of faith media I don't know whether you have any of those pictures just to show this was India look at India at the height of COVID-19 pandemic we were feeding people across the nations this is India Natasha hands of compassion we were all over feeding even people that are not even believers I was seeing myself giving grains to Hindus to Muslims I was seeing myself the Lord said you will spread the love of Christ not through a microphone but through giving this is Lahore Pakistan no this is Manila Philippines this is Manila Philippines this is the Philippines. These are Filipinos. This is Manila, Philippines. We were able to go to 
to the Philippines. We were able to go to India and not just in small scale but in big scale. But God gave me the detail of all this in a dream. This is Lahore, Pakistan. This is Lahore, Pakistan. These are our teams in Pakistan. When at the height of COVID-19 pandemic, people had nothing to eat. People did not know what to do. This is Beirut, Lebanon. Come on. Somebody give the Lord a clap offering. A slum girl from the slums of Madare. God raising her. These are all Muslims to become a solution even in foreign nations. Yeah. These are Arabs. Can you imagine? And Natasha, hands of compassion, was becoming a solution because of a dream that God gave me. And the details, God gave me everything with clarity. This is Lebanon. Can you look at the power of a dream? No, you This is in Mombasa. Some of the places we even had to go. And God gave me so many teams. We had even to go by boat to transport food to people. We went every length. And by the special grace of God, by the time the COVID-19 pandemic was coming to an end, we had fed over one million families globally. Yeah. Look, we had even to go to some places by boat. These are the Natasha Hands of Compassion teams that were going to meet the needs of people that were sleeping hungry. We were able to spread the love of Christ through giving and win so many souls to Jesus, not by preaching. My God, this was when we were cooking for street children. My God, that is senior mom. Please appreciate senior mom. Amen. My God, this is all the different places that we crisscrossed. The rural towns, the, the, the slums, the informal settlements of Kenya. My God, we were even in South Africa. We went all over 